Hey guys, I'm Drew357 and this is Wesley. I've got a US model 1884 Springfield trap door here. This is a historical military weapon and this particular rifle was made in 1888. These rifles were used in the Spanish-American War and the Philippine-American War. So look, we're really excited to shoot this gun today. Let's get out there. Before we take a few shots, let's look at some ammunition that we're going to shoot through this rifle today. The Springfield trap door is chambered in the 4570 cartridge. Steinel Ammunition's done a good job making a trap door safe load. This one is supposed to come out of the muzzle at 1300 feet per second at a 32 inch barrel, which this gun has, and it also has a 405 grain bullet. Then we're going to move on to some black powder hand loads that Wesley loaded. Wesley, why don't you tell them about your loads? Sure thing, Drew. These loads I made are a little more traditional. I'm running a CCI primer with a Starline brass, a 405 grain round nose flat point bullet, and 67 grains of 3F Swiss black powder, which is what this gun used to run way back in the day. Great, we're gonna start with some shots at 50 yards, and then we're gonna move out to 100 yards, and then we're gonna see how this rifle does at 200 yards. This particular rifle is fixed with a Buffington rear sight, here it's in the up position and you can look through this triangle to make your shot and if you need to make longer shots because you know you raise up a rear sight to bring your point of impact up you can move it up to whichever number you want and tighten it so it won't move okay but for today we're the longest shot we're making is 200 yards so we'll leave it down now this sight can also fold down and here it has a fixed rear sight when it's flat and so I found you can make shots easily out to 100, maybe 150 yards like this. Now this back knob, if you turn it, you can see it's moving the rear sight to the right and to the left. This is your wind drift adjustment. Okay, let's take a quick look at the front sight, but first I'd like to remove this bayonet so you can see it. So this is how you do this, and then it just comes right off of here. And you can see here you've got a fixed front sight. Let's have a quick look at the bayonet. You can see here it's stamped for the United States. It says US right here. This bayonet is in pretty good shape. It doesn't have much rust at all. I'll let you use your imagination to figure out what this was used for. But anyhow, it's neat to have it with this gun so that we can take a look at it. Now I'm gonna show you how to load this Springfield trap door. So it's hammer fired. If you come back one click, this is just a safety. Okay, this might be a good position if you had a loaded round in the chamber and you were walking through the woods. At the second click back, this is where we do our loading and unloading. So you go ahead and pull this lever up, flip open the trap door, and we're going to put a 4570 cartridge in there, just like that. Close the trap door, and now if we pull it back to the third click, you're ready to fire. After you fired your round and you want to eject it, pull the lever up and your spent casing flies out just like that.
dead center. Where'd you aim? Uh, very bottom. And it's just a little bit above. Yeah, it's about eight inches high, three inches right. Bit. I had a big fireball in that one. You felt pretty confident on your pull. Yeah. Wow, that was a lot of fun shooting this gun. I hope you guys had some fun watching. Uh, I'll say the Steinle ammunition, once we figured out where it was hitting, it was very consistent. It had pretty low recoil. Uh, once we switched over to the black powder loads, they were a lot of fun. You can see that black powder burning out the end of the barrel. It makes a lot of smoke, gives you a nice smell. Uh, so we're going to have a cleaning party later. But uh, Wesley, what did, what did you think of the shots you took? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Recoil is not too bad on the... Uh... On the conventional loads but the black powder kicked a little bit harder um, my shoulder is going to feel that later today absolutely if you guys have a chance to shoot one of these guns if you find somebody that has one i encourage you if the gun is in good condition and able to be shot you should definitely do it it's shooting a piece of american history but i'd like to thank some of the people that support our channel target sports usa they've got an ammo plus membership uh, 99 dollars a year they give you priority shipping and eight percent off of everything uh, good company. Also check out Ballastol. Speaking of which, we'll be spraying some of that down this barrel so on the ride home it makes cleaning it up way easier. Definitely. You just let that Ballastol work its way through there. They've also got a ceramic gun oil here that's pretty new. You can try that. And uh, Talon Grips. Uh, we really appreciate their support of the channel. Uh, they make grips for firearms and also other things. So we appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm Drew357 and this is Wesley. We've got some gun safety videos with both of us in it. I encourage you to take a look at them, trying to be funny. But uh, thanks for stopping by guys. We'll see you on the next one. So we're gonna make this quick. We got things to do. This was a nice rifle and- uh, No, rolling.